Hi, this is uh, Joachim Berggren. Uh, I'm on traveling foot through Europe from Stockholm down to first uh, the Frankfurt NBC uh, Summer Festival. And um, yeah, I'm I don't have any good location to film this in, so I'm in this jort right now. And I have a contribution for the filming of uh, the NBC festival. <coughs> and I call uh, my workshop uh, key differentiation number 43 in honor to Liv Larsson and Katarina Hoffman's book, 42 uh, key differentiations or cracking the NVC code it might the name might be in English um, <clears throat> and many of us that comes into NVC we come from experience of uh, uh, ha having hurtful uh, things around hierarchies like people in domination have not been treating us very nice so the tendency is when we come into NVC that we we don't like hierarchies. Um, we want to share this equal thing. We want that everyone matters. We want everyone to be heard regardless of your background or, or whatever. Wherever you come from, ev everyone matters and everyone should be heard. Um, so often when it's a little tense or it's a conflict um, no one has sort of the authority to step in and see that things are functioning well um, uh, that we are following our agenda what we are wanting to do in this meeting maybe the meeting is about processing and then it's okay to process and maybe it's a meeting that we want to come to a decision. And when such a meeting ends up being a meeting of where we process things, uh, it's not so efficient. So it's very good to know the aim of your meeting and, and to know to have tools to how to create this meeting to make it functional in accordance with the aim of the meeting. <clears throat> and there are some key differentiations that is very good to, to have in mind. One is power over or power with. Uh, so we don't are afraid to use our power to bring in some uh, structure if we see that things are going in, in a way that doesn't uh, sort of contribute to the group. And another thing, another key differentiation to have in mind is um, <clears throat> respect or fear of authority. Uh, so yeah, that's a, an important one as well. And the one I want to bring in, it's, it's the difference between dominant dominant hierarchies and natural hierarchies. So a dominant hierarchy that we have all experienced, this dominant hierarchies, people in power positions has the power to make us submit, uh, to do things. And when we come into NBC, we don't like that. So the tendency is that we throw out the dominant hierarchies as well as the natural hierarchies. So my lecture is about the difference between dominant and natural hierarchies. Uh, and I think it's very important to, to understand and appreciate the natural hierarchies as a way how people differ from each other, how people have different abilities to deal with stuff and to recognize that in ourselves and to be able to sort of design structures that take this into consideration. Okay, thank you.